Hi, Bill Henshaw here again, another one of my YouTube videos uh, went in court. And this one involves a situation that my sweetie is being seriously affected now. and been at her job almost 40 years, and yet her quote-unquote employer is telling her she's now voluntarily retired, and they're offering her a pittance in retirement benefits. Now, this isn't right. As you know damn well, most of these employers probably haven't lost as much as a dime with all the money they're getting from a Congress they control. And yet they can do this, um, you know, on who knows what factual foundation and legal basis. Remember, corporations are privileged. They do not have rights. We do. Creator endowed inalienable rights. And I told my sweetie, and I'm telling you what we're going to do is take the position that the company is liable, you know, to make available to her the full amount of all earnings that she would have had, tips included in this case, non-taxable income. Now, it may be that they'll end up paying it just as though you were working every day, but if it comes out the same, bottom line isn't that different. But the point being here, that we have a right to work, we have a right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, and none of this is our fault. There's a lot of equitable considerations that come into play here. Bottom line, you know, what can your employer do? Write it off as a tax loss. No problem. So that's one way we might do it. We might, in certain cases, you know, go for a lump sum payment. Uh, that depends on particulars. And then you would still have, in the case of someone been on the job that long, I would say 25 years or more, you would still have your retirement benefits, you know, coming in after this money was exhausted you know, from the years that you would have been working if you could have worked. This is exciting. I have issues here you can't believe. Send me an email at youwinincourt at gmail.com. I'll get the information out to you. I mean, we can prove these bastards can't even come into court. Because if we get into a judicial court, particularly a federal one, they can't come in. Uh, they're not qualified to be there because they're not registered with the Secretary of State to do business in your state, as if we had any states. And that's the problem. They're not registered. They don't have any legal standing. And we can keep their attorneys out too, as you'll see by some of my brilliantly designed work on this subject as well. So it's a very interesting prospect and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Uh, very reasonable terms and conditions. And if you're in that situation, especially with 20 or more years on the job, uh, we may have a lot to talk about here. So that said, remember to like the video, subscribe, tell your friends, get the word out. Because if we're successful with this, it's going to sweep across the country. And we should be. It's about damn time, um, you know, after 85 years under the Federal Labor Relations Act. And oh, by the way, you were fraudulently induced to join an employer-employee relationship that your quote-unquote employer knew was dead on arrival from day one. And they didn't bother to tell you about that. Can you say deceit, fraud, and treason? It gets that ugly, and it's not me saying it. I get that from the United States Supreme Court, and I agree with them. So that said, as I said, uh, you know, subscribe, like the videos, tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Thank you.